in this section we are going to create assembly uh, to create a corridor this is one of the most important parts in civil 3d so when by creating an assembly what we do is we are creating a sample of the road uh, so that we can apply throughout this road to get our final corridor or the final 3d model of the uh, road so by creating the assembly what we do is we will have a cross section across this one of this location so how the road will look like so we will see how to do that so to do that i am going to assembly in my home tab i am going to assembly and i'll click this create assembly so in the create assembly window i will type my name of the assembly as two lane two way road right so if you like you can get a set a description and also we have, i am going to have this default parameters here not going to change anything then click ok and it click ok here so now it will give you a straight line with some marker in the middle so we call this the assembly so this is something similar to the center line of your road so based on this center line we will be adding two lanes to the either side of the assembly and two shoulders after the lane then we will add a, a verge as well so to do that you need to go to tool palettes so tool palette is here just after the tool space so you need to click here alternatively you can click ctrl 3 on your keyboard to get the tool palettes so i'll click here so it will come like this i am moving it to here so from here you need to go to lane step because we are going to add a lane here so i'll click here i will see all the tabs so from that i will go to lanes tab from the lanes i am going to get lane super elevation aor here so you will get something like this you can edit the parameters here at the moment i am not going to edit i am just adding it here just click the bottom side of this assembly to add the lane to your uh, assembly so i'll click here now it has been added to my assembly so i'll close this one and i'll press escape now my lane is added so i'll do some modifications here so i'll close this one as well for the moment so i'll click here and go to sub assembly properties or right click and go to sub assembly properties either way now i am going to rename this as my right lane so i'll say lane r then i am going to the parameters tab now it is on the right side so you can remember our lane width was 3.5 meters and default slope i make it as minus 2.5 that means it will have a slope of minus 2.5 percent from the center line so if you are using uh, sometimes uh, in real practice you need to apply super elevation in different cases but we are at, at as a starter uh, section we are not going to uh, think about those things at the moment so then we have pavement layers on the road so the first pavement layer we will make it as minus 0 0.5 sorry uh, 0 0.5 millimeters 0 0.5 meters that means 50 millimeters for the pave to depth also we will make it 50 millimeters and base depth we make it 100 millimeters and the sub base depth make it 300 millimeters and use super elevation we will say none but if you have super elevation values you can set the values from here but we are not going to use that option at this stage then you have the slope direction away from crowd and potential pivot you have to set it to no actually that is that refers to this flag like icon so it will be removed once you this once you set this to no so if i click apply you will see everything will be changed here 
now it will be changed once you click ok now you you, it's, you might have seen now with has changed our layer thicknesses has changed so i will do a, a modification for the base depth make it 0.2 actually so you will see this updated now yeah you can see right so for the inside point code it is crown outside point code i'll make it as uh edge of lane and i click ok and i click ok here now you will see the lane is added so now our right lane is completed now i am going to add the uh, right shoulder so right shoulder will be same as the lane but the only the change is width so what i do is i select on the sub assembly right side which we created and go to copy here on the ribbon then i will attach it to this top circle and it will be attached to the right side of that top circle so i press keep and i go to here sub assembly properties and this time this is shoulder r and go to parameters shoulder width is one meter the other parameters you don't have to change but only one parameter inside point code this time it is edge of lane and this one is edge of payment that's the only thing you have to change you click ok you will see the width changes now then after that we will add the verge or the soft shoulder here to the end so to do that i am going to use a new sub assembly type so i go to here and go to the shoulders and use this shoulder extend all this option and click here and i am coming to here and add this to this corner and i press keep and close this one so now i am going to do some modification here so i select this one and go to sub assembly properties this time this is verge r and the parameters this is right side so verge i will set another one meter width for that one use super elevation we are not going to use super elevation slope away from crown shoulder slope i'll make it minus four percent and it uh, we are telling that you have to adjust the slope you have to adjust the width by holding this slope this means this slope so this slope is i'll say it is 1.5 meters into one that means horizontal one 1.5 meters vertically one meter down likewise so daylight width uh, i'll you don't have to uh care about this width because we are adjusting with while holding the slope so super elevate sub base no uh, and sub base slope we will make it same as minus four and we will not have these payment layers on the top in the base verge so we'll make it zero the whole thing will be based on sub base at this case we are assuming it as like that so this should be uh, earlier this was 50 millimeter 50 millimeter 200 millimeter 300 millimeter so 50 50 100 100 200 uh, 300 and 300 600 millimeters you have to provide here so i click ok I click apply first you will see now this is get updated so if you have any problem with the parameters so what these parameters doing you can click the sub assembly help so it will give you a help about these parameters and it will uh, show everything about parameters and you can get better understanding about that so i'll click ok now now my shoulder verge is also completed now i am going to add a daylight here so to add the daylight i'll go to here and from the tabs i will select daylight tab and select daylight bench from here and add it to here and i close this one and close this one as well and close this escape and i'll select this assembly sub assembly go to sub assembly properties now this is daylight bench r 
parameters would be cut slope i'll say 1.2 into 1 max cut height 6 meters fill slope 1.5 into 1 max fill height 6 meters i'm just setting these parameters don't worry about the things and we are just learning how to apply things right these are the things we have to change and click ok so you know you don't see any update here so it will be updated while we are creating the corridor so now our left side this right side is completed now what we do is we have to do the same to the left side but uh, there's an easy way to do that since we have right and left most similar in our road so i'll select all these sub assemblies don't select the uh, assembly you have to only select the sub assembly make sure you have selected all these sub assemblies then click mirror here mirror and then it is asking the select the mirror line so you select this bottom of sit bottom area so all the things will be mirrored to the left side so i'll press keep now we have to do small modification at this stage that is changing the assembly name sub assembly names because they are referring to the right side so i am going to change the names i select here go to sub assembly properties changes to lane l and click ok again here lane l likewise i can change so if, without going to each of these assemblies if you go to select this assembly and go to assembly properties from here and go to the construction tab you will see your left side and you can easily double click here no not double click just a single click and you can change name and also if you need to change the parameters you can change the parameters from here as well like we did in the sub assemblies right okay now everything completed i am going to click ok here now we have completed our assembly to create the corridor so in the next section we will see how to create the corridor